Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking about dictionaries in Python. So dictionaries are basically like um, objects in JavaScript and hash tables in Ruby. They're basically a way to store key value pairs. So to create a dictionary, we'll create d equals, so now in a list you use using these brackets, and now you can have elements within it, two, three. A dictionary uh, you create using the curly brackets. And your keys have um, or need to be strings, and your values can be whatever you want. So, for example, you could have key uh, name, and then use a colon. So, name is Daniel, comma, uh, age is a hundred. So now this is a really simple dictionary. And now to access them, so in a, in a list you would do something like d of zero. So you would you would return the zeroth element, but in dictionaries you can't do that. You access the uh, key and values by the key name. So you would do print d name, and you get Daniel. Print d age, and you get a hundred. So that's how you access uh, keys and values in um, in dictionaries in Python. So dictionaries have some cool functions. So you can do something like print items, and it just returns the items in a, in a list for you. So the first element, so now you can do, uh, let's just say items equals d items, and then you can print items of zero. And now you get the whole, um, the whole, the whole first key value pair, and then you can do print d1, you get the second key value pair, etc. Uh, you can also print the keys. So if you just wanted the keys, you get an array, you get a list of keys, age, and name. Uh, you can also print the values and you get a hundred Daniel. Hundred Daniel. Um, and then you also have so to update a dictionary um, to, to update a dictionary value, you would just do it just like you would in an array or a list. So D name equals Mike. And now you can print D and you get age a hundred name Mike. So in a list you would do something like D of zero equals something and then you would print the, li the list. So here you do D of name equals Mike and you can modify uh, those values. And if you want to check if a certain key exists, so you could do something like print D has key name and you get true. So for example, we wanted to add something into this dictionary, we can do if D has key uh, action. If it has action, um, we can say d action equals sitting else the action equals coding. So if the dictionary has the key action, then we just modify it to be to equal sitting. Otherwise, we add it into the dictionary and we set the action to coding. So now if we print the dictionary, we get action coding, age 100, name Daniel. So if we add in action nothing, so we have action in the dictionary, and now if we check if it has the key action, if it does, we set it to sitting. We run the code, and now action is sitting. So dictionaries are great if you, if you want to store values uh, with specific keys. So, what, for example, one challenge could be to count the number of times each character appears in a string. So, for example, we had something like string equals hello world a a a b b c. If we want to store how many times each character appears, so h appears x number of times, e appears y number of times, etc. So, we'll solve this challenge the following way. So, first we'll break up the string into a list. So list s. Now let's see how it, how it looks. So we have a list of each character. So now what we want to do is loop through each. So we'll store. Uh, we'll create a new dictionary. So d equals an empty dictionary, and this is where our um, answers will go. So we'll loop through each element in the list for each uh, character in list. What we want to do is check if it exists in the dictionary. If not, add it in with a count of one. So if character in D. So you can actually check, there are two ways to check if um, if something exists in the dictionary. You can do if 
something in dictionary or you can check if um, dictionary has key. So let's actually do it the way we did before. If D has key character. If it does, then dictionary of this character plus equal one. We add one to it. Otherwise, we add the character into the into the dictionary and we give it a count of one. And now if we print D, we get a count of each character. So A occurred three times in the string. The, the space occurred twice. The letter C occurred once. The letter B occurred twice. So let's give a have a better string. We'll do A A A B B O L P. So now we can see A three times, P once, B twice, etc. So with this simple code, you are able to count how many times um, each character appeared in a string. And it's really easy to access each character. So if you want to see how many times the letter A the letter A occurred, you just do print dictionary of A and you get three. So the letter A occurred three times in this string.